Hello, everybody. So, continuation of our shorthand studies. We are carrying on with chapter one, going through uh, uh, section 16 is where we're going to start. And we'll probably go through, let's see if we can go through at least three or four of these sections. They flow together pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and take a look at the notes. So section 16, some vowels are so obscure or neutral that they are omitted when they do not contribute to speed or legibility. For example, the E in the words taken and maker is absolutely useless and is omitted. Any vowel which does not contribute to the legibility of an outline may be omitted if its omission gives a more facile outline. All right. Now, uh, so that's that's pretty clear. If it's a schwa, if it's a, um, if it's a, even a consonant that is just, you know, thrown away in passing, you don't need it. Uh, I was actually thinking a word like fifth. You can say fifth and you still get the sense right and now if you say five and well of course that's diphthong and all that but if you just want to say fifth uh, versus fifth you can easily do that because it would still be understandable as the word fifth okay so um, i'm moving on to uh, section 17 and that is between straight strokes in the same direction the circle is written with right motions remember right means clockwise right means clockwise so let's go ahead and write out those words so remember deed dad mean main so as you noticed they still wanted the versions of there it is. They still wanted the vowels marked. Okay, so deed. So remember, we're uh, we're um, working with vowels that are in the same direction. So deed, and then a stroke underneath because it's a long sound. So deed, and then dad, dad. Notice no stroke because it's the short sound of of the a group. Mean. stroke because it is a the long sound for e and then finally main and main receives a stroke because it's the long sound as well and going on to the next one which is 18 between opposite curves the circle is turned back on the first curve turned back on the first curve so Essentially, what it means is that as the curve comes up, um, it's, it simply lies on the back or on the outside of the curve. Wreck, rag, lake, kill. Wreck, rag, lake, kill. Go ahead, pull up those notes here. Where's that? 18. There we go. So, wreck. R -e Do a little bit smoother. Wreck. Okay. And I think it, it receives a dot because it is the medial sound for the E group. And then rag is the short sound. So once again, r, a, g, short sound. Notice how the circle is lying on the back of the curve. And then lake, l, a, k. And that's the long sound. So it receives lake. Kill is ill like that and it's the short sound so no no uh markings okay so once again that is wreck rag lake and kill moving on to our next group which is 19 uh kr and gl groups K, uh, let's see k and r and g and l are equal curves and are made a little flatter than usual when joined thus or joint thus so kr you can see it's not quite as uh, broad of a sweep as we've used in the past and same for gl cream so kr is the section that's going to be a little bit flatter than usual so kr eem like that correct yep and then crane 
er ain, and that's a little strong. Otherwise, be crame. So. Crane, and that's the long sound. Creed, k, er, e, d, and that is the correct. I uh, to check. Yep, it goes. Remember that this is written inside the curve. I believe is the rule for this. I believe that's the the name. That when you have curves lying in the same direction, then it is written. What do they tell us? It is between straight strokes in the same direction, between opposite strokes, uh, where straight strokes join, the circle is placed inside the curve. And so that is rule, just as a review, that's rule 15, rule 15, okay? That is creed, crate. Crate is gonna be just like creed, except that we're gonna have an A vowel and a T, and crate. Uh, Eagle. So this is interesting. This is e o. So we have e go like that. Good. Uh, what's our next one? Glee. G o e. The opposite of eagle. Remember, eagle needs a stroke at the beginning because it's an e, and then glee is backwards. So then glean is g o e n gleam g o a little bit flatter like they were saying g o e m glen g o e n that's a dot because it's the medial sound glare g o Air, glare, and that is the long sound, so it receives that stroke. Yep. Acre. This is an interesting one. A, k, er, acre, and then maker. Hmm. And k. I believe this one. Yep. It is the correct, it's traveling in the right, right hand. Maker, notice we can leave out the E, so K and R can just be put right together. We don't need to do a, an, a, a K and then an E vowel circle and then R. Very nice. So cream, crane, creed, crate, eagle, glee, glean, gleam, glen, glare, acre, and maker okay uh, gr and kl combinations where curves of unequal length join without an angle as in the following note how a distinction in length is positively shown positively shown um meaning that it's uh i have to say positively shown i think positively means that the stroke the uh the longer stroke is made more exaggerated to show the difference between the long stroke and the short stroke, okay? The movement in writing GR is similar to that in writing Y in longhand. Uh, comment in the chat if you know how to write cursive. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, of course, if you're watching Greg shorthand, you probably know how to write cursive, but that might be pretentious on my part. So the movement in writing GR is similar to that in writing Y in longhand. KL to that in writing H. Thus, you can see that the portions that have been uh, um, dotted out, that's the rest of the longhand, and we're just looking at the, the bold stroke, so to speak. And then we have these words right here, so we'll go ahead and pull that up. So, grain, uh, gray, grain, greed, green, greet, grim, eager, clay, and clan. So, let's go ahead and start writing that out. I find it. There we go. So gray. So remember, longer stroke for g, er, a, and then grain, g, er, a, n, greed, g, er, e, d, 
greed. Remember the stroke goes on the inside. Greed, green, g, er, e, n, greet, g, er, e, t, greet. Eh, that could be cleaned up just a little bit. G, er, e, t, greet, grim, g, er, e, n. That R is a little too short. G, er, e, Mm. Okay, and that's the short sound, so it doesn't need any vowel stroke. Eager is e g er eager stroke underneath clay k u a and then clan so k u and n clan. So, and that gets a, uh, clay gets a stroke, clan does not. So, gray, grain, greed, green, greet, grim, eager, clay, and clan. Moving on to our next section, which is 21, RK and LK combinations. Since R and K are of equal length, the curves are somewhat flatter as with KR and GL. LK is very infrequent. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Arc, dark, mark, and milk. Arc, dark, mark, and milk. So. A, er, k. And they said a little bit flatter. And arc, that, that's actually the medial sound or oh and it's oh it's supposed to lie on the back I, I i did it wrong i think that's that would be that'd be acra acra huh. uh, so we need arc which is the r first so r k arc and it receives the dot dark so d r k dark same with the dot mark Mm. Arc, mark. Same with the dot on all three of these, actually. And then milk is m, il, k, milk. Uh, 22. The signs for th. The sign for th is curved to express. Th. So the sign for T is curved to express TH, thus the curves. And you see that there is a left and a right hand curve, and we'll get into when you use one versus the other. But remember, if you're using it as a brief form, then you do need to differentiate between the and there. So any rules that we learn about TH in the future are uh, uh, do not apply to the brief form. Tick and thick, at, ath, rat, rath, met, myth. So tick would be t, i, k, and thick, th, i, k. Oh, make that k just a little longer. Th, i, k. Okay, hat is hat, and hath, hath. Rat. Er, at, can make that R just a little bit bigger. Rat, and wrath is er, ath, like that. Met, m, e, t, and myth, m, i, th, is mana myth. Let me know where you, uh, if you know the reference, is mana myth. So tick, thick, hat, hath, rat, wrath, met, and myth. We have one more, and then we are done with this video. So we're going to do 23 brief forms for common words. Uh, a comparatively small number of frequently recurring words make up a large part of the English language. As an illustration, 10 words, the, of, and, to, a, or a, in, that, is, it is I 
form one-fourth of the entire written and spoken language. And then there's a little explanation of how these uh, brief forms are constructed. The forms for these frequent words are based on a very common method of abbreviation in longhand. For example, AMT is written for amount, REV, REV for reverend, GYM for gymnasium, ANS for answer, MATH, M-A-T-H for mathematics. In fact, in America, we still say math. We don't say mathematics. I know in Britain they say maths, but it's the same thing, really. Um, and so on. By taking advantage of this method of abbreviation, brief and easily remembered shorthand forms are obtained for the most common words in the language. Okay, and these are those brief forms. Of, that, was, they, this, and, and, two, 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 be, by, but, you, your, then, then, them, is, his, great, with, and without. Let me know if it's a help to um, see them written out. I know that when I was working through it, that actually took a, a, a good bit of time, was just figuring out how do I write these things in the first place. But with, with practice, it becomes a lot easier. So just let me know if that's a help at all. Okay, and so let's go ahead and start writing these. So we have of is the O vowel. That is the at was is os they is the ah uh, that was just confirming yes so it's just the it's the a a little bit a little bit more forward the a and then this is is just e so it's s T H and S. T H and S. So the is this and or end is in D. Two two or two is t U. B by but is B. U your is U. The O hook as we'll learn. Then them is the N. Them is the M is his, is S, great is g, r, great, and with is if, and without, without. There we go. So those are all of the brief forms that we'll cover now. As I said earlier, you have access to all of the brief forms in this uh, Greg Shorthand manual. Um, on my GitHub repository. So just go in there. It'll be in the link in this video. Check for that particular um, page. I believe it's called Brief Forms List or something like that. And uh, it's a PDF. You can copy it um, and then uh, review it uh, and uh, search for the various brief forms if they occur in the manual. Saves you a little bit of time. Obviously, memorize them, but in the process, might be useful to uh, to just search for them. All right, so that is the completion of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to working on the next segments with you tomorrow or uh, next week, which will be uh, 24, 25, probably beginning uh, unit three and see how much of unit three we are able to accomplish. Uh, um, uh, next week. So keep on practicing. As I said um, uh, in previous videos, but I'm going to reiterate, this manual is available on my GitHub repository and also available in multiple other locations. I'm not your only source for Greg. There's some really good sources out, out there. There's a, there's a Greg Discord channel or a shorthand Discord um, a server and Greg is one of the values on there. There is a Greg website. If you look up Greg shorthand, you'll see that it's a um, a, a WordPress uh, um, a page where enthusiasts are getting together and keeping this spirit of Greg alive. You can also find them on Reddit um, and hopefully more videos on YouTube soon. I'm sure there are. If you know of anyone who's working currently with Greg, 
uh, please um, share their channel information in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. So with that, I'll let, I'll let you get on with your day. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.